Hey all, the practitioner, oh, sorry. Hey all, the practitioner here, uh, and welcome to Halifax. This is my first video for, uh, since my move from Victoria. Um, this is also my 495th video, so I'm looking forward to five more videos. Yeah, I guess I do something for the big 500 for all you guys. Um, I'd like to thank all the new people who subscribed to me, and I'd also like to thank all the spammers who have done the usual uh, rebounds of calling me fag, etc. It's uh, kind of funny to see the uh, fact that rather than commenting of the what's in the video, you decide to make fun of my looks. Typical, of course, just goes to show the um, fact that the majority of the YouTube populace, uh, assuming that the sample of commenters reflects YouTube at large, seems to be that the majority of YouTube populace can't think of anything to say but insults. Anyway, side noting it along, I've got some new projects for uh, coming up for you, most uh, for you, my dedicated subscribers and everybody else who watches. Um, first things first coming up, I'm going to be having a two-part video coming up. Um, it's still in the works and should be ready to load within the next couple of weeks, called Pork, uh, called My Magical Move to Halifax. Uh, basically, it's going to um, cover a bit of history of Halifax, etc. Um, the second option, which is uh, the second video project, which is going to be coming up, it's going to be called Parkour Pranks and Picturesque Illusions. Basically, it's going to be me trying to get physical, and needless to say, uh, a barrel of laughs in the process as I try to imitate parkour. Um, and, of course, a few pranks along the way. The uh, third project which is coming up is my new project I'm filming right now called Scams and Misdirect, um, which is basically talking about um, whether or not people can actually observe things in their everyday environment and how um, lack of understanding of very basic details, um, either from auditory misdirects, visual misdirects, or even mathematical misdirects, ends up duping 90% of people. That includes most of my fellow subscribers and me. So um, a kind of a little exposure on that. Uh, anyway, in the meantime, though, uh, I've got a little um, trick I've been working on, kind of as a sneak preview for the uh, next projects, and I hope you guys enjoy. This one is called Find the Card. This is actually to test your powers of observation. If you figure out how I did this, um, which I'm assuming the most of you will have, um, please post in private message. Do not post in the main room. I want to see if people can actually observe it for themselves. Um, but anyway, let's bring the camera over here in such a way so this way you guys can see this should be visible right about here. Okay, so we're just simply going to go through the deck here and let's pick a random card. This one will do. Okay, this card is the Nine of Diamonds. I want you to pay close attention to this because we're going to put this right back on top of the deck. Now, I posted the Nine of Diamonds right back on top of the deck, right? So, that should have been the card on top. Actually, the top card on top was the King of Spades. Let's try that again. We'll put it right on the bottom here where you can see it. So, what's the card on the bottom now? The King of Spades. Nope, it's obviously the Nine of Diamonds. So let's put it right back on the bottom again. That should make it easy for you to follow, right? Nine of diamonds on the bottom, right? Actually, sorry, again, it's actually the two of spades. Some more time, we'll stick the two of spades right in the middle here. Just, and we'll even mark it just to make it easier, okay? So, what card is in the middle now? The two of spades? Actually, sorry, it's actually the king of the nine of diamonds again. So, one more time, let's put this back on top just to make this blatantly easy, okay? We're going to put this right on top of the deck, okay? See, it's right there. You can't miss it, okay? It's right there. You can't miss it. Now, what card is on top? The Nine of Diamonds? Actually, sorry, that's the King of Spades. I've been palming the Nine of Diamonds the entire time. Guess you got to learn to pay better attention. Anyway, that's a little sneak preview for future videos, and welcome to Halifax.